Good morning. I'm Gordon. I'm your museum artist for this morning. And today we'd like to make some story castles. And because it's Easter, we'll have a special Easter slant on them later. To start with, you need a piece of cardboard. This is A4, just thin, wobbly cardboard. Cereal packet card works quite well as well. You need a ruler and a pencil. First off, just draw a line, it doesn't need to be that far in, just a couple of centimetres in along the bottom, like that. And then do another one just a little bit further up. And they'll become important later on. And then right across here, we're going to design a castle. It's all unfolded. So I think I'm going to do a ruin, so I'm going to have some broken bits, maybe there's a tower with some battlements that are still intact, some crumbling things here, this is where somebody fired a cannonball at it and it's just going to go down there and I'm going to try and make sure each side comes in at about the same place. Then we might want some windows, let's have some windows, dun, dun, dun. we might want a big door. Now. This bit down here, we need to keep clear. Don't draw on that. That becomes important later on. And then we cut that out. If you're cutting out with scissors, that's fine. If you've got windows like this, if you've got a grown-up with a knife who could do it, that's super. If you haven't, use a bit of modelling clay or blue tack and stick that down and use a pencil just to make a hole in the window where you can wiggle in a pair of small scissors and cut out the whole thing. Now I'm not going to do all that just now, I'm going to put that down and pick out one that I did earlier. Here we go, we have a castle. Now decorated, I cut out a door, um, drew some plants on it, now that strip along the bottom becomes really important and I've put some tabs. Now I've drawn these in with a Sharpie so they show up. You might do it in pencil. And then I'm going to just walk up, walk along here with my scissors and cut them. I'm going to cut out there at the door. Just snip up like that. So we have a whole load of little tabs that then we can fold up like this. And then, if we just roll that round, we have a castle taking shape. So now, let's turn that over and put a bit of glue. I've got some PVA in a little bottle here, just a little run of glue up there. And then roll this round so that joins up. If this feels a little bit wobbly, maybe just put a staple or two in or just run some tape up and then press it down and it's standing up like that. Then it needs a base. So here I've got just a bit of cardboard. Um, this, this could be cereal packet cardboard. Um, the whole thing could be made from an old cereal packet, actually. It all works quite well. I'm going to make that a bit smaller. Go back to my glue and put some glue on each of those tabs. It does work better with the tabs pointing out than pointing in. It's much easier to sort of work, fit it onto the board and things like that. Feels a bit awkward just now, but it is easier there we go so that's going on there now if we're not going to stand here for 10 minutes holding that we could grab some masking tape and just tape it down just to hold it where we want it and you don't really want your beautiful castle just standing in some 
grey card. So you could decorate the ground around the castle. Now, the whole thing could have been coloured in. I tend to leave things, whatever my background colour is, and just draw on top of it. But you could have coloured all that in. And now, you could get some tissue paper. You could use old wrapping paper. Magazines are quite good. Just cut them up. Go back to that little pot of glue and just put some glue on. That was very carefully done, you can tell. And then just start patchworking it up. There might need to be some mud. There might need to be a moat if you have gone for a castle. You might, as we see later on, go for other sort of landscapes as well. You might get the tissue paper stuck to your fingers like I just have. But keep going until the whole thing is decorated. And we have a story tower or an adventurous castle. It can be anything you want it to be. And when you've got something like this, you get all the rubbish out of the way over here and think, we need some characters for this. So here I've got a little person who's going to go and have an adventure. And I've got a barbecue skewer there that I'm just going to stick on the back. Let's do that. So there we have someone who can go walking off and explore a castle. And of course, if you've got a castle, you might need a dragon. So we've got a little dragon there as well. And I've lost the other... Oh, no. Barbecue skewer. Not quite. There we go. Turn that over. Pop that one on there. So there's my adventurer. And in the castle is a dragon waiting to come out. You might need to come flying out the top. You can make up a story. You could film your story on your phone. You could make some other towers and have a whole landscape of places for your explorer to explore. You could, now if I just take all those away and take even take away this new one, you could use bigger bits of card and make a giant landscape like this one where our poor explorer can go exploring. Now this one is made in exactly the same way, but I didn't do a whole circle. I just did a semi-circle of card and I put some little card in front so I can have the dragon hiding. And of course, because it's Easter, we might need some treasure. So we've got a treasure chest there. And if our explorer finds the treasure and opens it, we might have a treasure chest full of Easter eggs. And at the end of our story, our explorer and the dragon, well, they can either eat the eggs or they can sit on them and see what hatches out. We hope you've enjoyed this. We hope you'll have a go making your own story castle or story landscape like this one. Uh, the instructions will be on photographs as well as in a blog entry on the museum blog. So you can visit that if you want to. And if you do make something, we'd love to see it. So thanks very much. Join in. Make a mess. Make a castle. Make a story and then tell us about it. Thank you. No, we can't stop it.